on one side opposite if you please. Let's have a little respect here. Thank you, officer. This way. The late Mr. Dabcock, I presume. Dabcock. Alfred George, 21 Poplar Street. He was playing croquet yesterday. Not a care in the world. Sick transit. Gloria Mundi. Suffering duck. Ruddy near saw me arm holes out. Waste a blooming tough. Not off it, darling. Thank you, Jimmy. Hiya, Jim. Huh. Been stealing cigarettes again. What do you want? It's Soapy and me and Bert and Curly. Run into any trouble? No. Let's have a deck out the body in the bag. Okay with you, Curly? Okay by me, mate. Aggie, give Limby the buzz at the staff's here. Curly will bring it out to Lambeth tonight, usual time. Consider it done. Keep out a couple of hundred for me, will you? My boyfriend smokes like a chimney. By the way, you boys are getting a new playmate. Who is he? Bloke out of the RAF. He's found life a bit tame since he's been demobbed. Name him Morgan. Morgan? Hmm? What's his speciality? He's got class. We need a bit of that in our business. Not that I ain't got it myself, but he was born into it. I'm seeing him later tonight. If we agree on terms, I'll be bringing him back here tomorrow. Have you checked on his credentials? Ask a silly question and you'll get a silly answer. You're the boss. Nice of you to say so. Limpy's on the phone. He wants to talk to you about some New Zealand mutton. I say, Soapy, keep me a leg of it. If there's one thing my boyfriend likes, it's mutton. Dressed as lamb. <laughs> I hope you never spoke to your mother like that. I never had one. Come, come. You must be the son of a... something. <laughs> Look here, Nasty, this Morgan. I suppose he's an amateur. We all got to begin sometime, don't we? Sounds like trouble to me. I'm ashamed of you, Bert, standing in the way of a job for an ex-serviceman. Sometimes I wonder what England's coming to. Hello, hello, look who's here. How's my handsome boy tonight? Can't complain, Ducky. Clem Morgan here. Morgan, Morgan. Oh, yes, the raft type. Over at the bar there with a the priority blonde. Now, scissors there. Can you sell me a case of scotch? I'm temporarily out of scotch. Can't get the labels printed. I'm in a paper shortage. <laughs> I'll pay you five pounds a bottle for the genuine stuff and three for the floor varnish. That's a very good price. Not half it, ain't. Sorry, I can't oblige. What are you drinking? We're disguising ourselves heavily as Scotch. At least the trade name is Scotch. Ellen, meet Narcy. Narcy, Ellen. Hello, Narcy. Pleased to make your acquaintance, I'm sure. Pull up a stool, old boy. Sit down before you fall down. Same again here, double gym for me. Well, how have you been keeping, Clem? Sober. That's a ticket. Did you meet my popsy? Ellen Narcy. Ellen's a very sympathetic type. Without Ellen, no birds would sing. Sounds like he's 7,000 feet up in the air, doesn't it? Oh, he's just feeling sorry for himself. Sorry? Bored. Bored. If it weren't for Ellen, I'd be liable to do myself a mischief and spin in. Too much energy, that's your trouble, Clem. Too much animal spirits. What you need's an outlet. What he needs is another war. Is it my fault if I've got too set in my habits? Fill him up again all round. Oh, not for me, thank oh, you. Oh, come on. We're all friends together, I hope. Fill him up, fill him up. My friend will pay in Japanese yet. <laughs> He's a bloke after my own heart. You and me ought to get along like an house on fire, Clem. This is the kind gentleman I was telling you about. <laughs> He's offered me a job. What kind? Oh, what you might call free enterprise. Indeed you might. Indeed you might. Well? Well what? Is it a deal? Tell you what I'll do, I'll toss you for it. Give me a double-headed penny. <laughs> all I got's an ordinary one. Sound fair, yeah? Heads it's a deal, tails no so. Fair enough. Why's yours? Tails. Tails it is. Tails it is. Okie dokie, it's a deal. Here's to it. 
to Narcissus and Morgan, the poor man's Fortnum and Mason. <laughs> Here come the boys, Cora. What are you going to do? Borrow another couple of tricks from Sophie? No, I don't need money anymore. I just want to remind him that I'm still alive. Hmm. You picked a funny place to do it. Well, and what did the old cow die on this time? No, I don't. Well, keep out a couple of pairs for me, will you? My boyfriend likes me in them. I was beginning to forget what you look like. What you doing here? I told you not to bother me during office hours. Well, are you coming round to the pub tonight? Maybe. Hop it now, will you? Forward, please. Cocky, have a nice trip. No bones broken. That's the ticket. How do I look? To the manor born. Hello, Clem. What are you doing here? Waiting for you, of course, you big silly. I was worried about you. Sure, we was talking about the good books you've been reading lately. That's a very cultured fiancé you have in Ellen, Clem. I'm all for a bit of culture. Is it nailed down? No, just press button A. Everything here don't look like much. 700 nylons, Limpy said. Yeah, you can't trust Limpy further than you can see me with your eyes shut. What are you looking for? Bed bugs. Everything's there. Who said it wasn't? Ah, there's the stuff that builds bonny babies, me boy. There's more mazuma in that there parcel than you'll see in a month of foggy Fridays. What is it? Sherbet. Huh. No coupons. Since when have you been handling that stuff? What's the matter with you? I never agreed to meddle with that muck. This is just a special job for a friend. Are there going to be any more? I wouldn't say yes, and I wouldn't say no. Well, you'd better make up your mind. He come off it. Anyone would think this was a peace conference. I don't think I know what you mean by that, Clem. If there's any minds to be made up around here, they ain't going to be mine. I ain't an amateur mucking about for the fun of it. I built up this business from nothing, and I'm the boss. If I want to pedal Sherbet, I'll pedal Sherbet, even if it hurts your finer feelings. Fair enough? Or do you think we're not respectable enough to suit you, now that you really live with us? If you're handling that stuff, I'm not playing. Do you want me to give you back your ring, or may I keep it among my souvenirs? No, no. Knock it, boys. This is no time for back chat. You've got to be on the job again in half an hour. Now, see, he ain't going to run this stuff as a steady line, Clem. He's just passing it through for Limpy, same as Limpy does favours for us. You just ruffled his feathers a bit. Now, come on. Kiss and make up. And let's go and have a drink. Well, you've got my name down now, sir. If you're peddling that tangle foot, I'm packing up. You're not there, are you, Nancy? No, but I don't like being criticised. I've got a very sensitive nature, you know. You wouldn't think it, but I have. Aggie, tell Limpy we won't do any more special favours for him, on account of it gives Clem our burn. Consider it done. Sorry I snapped your head off, Clem. No offence, meant none take no hope. Sophie, talk early. The stuff's here and to pick it up right away. You blokes come with me and I'll give you the setup for the night. Only one watchman and he's half deaf. That's right, any Bert? That's right. It'll be as easy as taking jujubes from a blind baby. It's about the only thing we haven't done. We're on our knees. What do you mean? We're slumming. This is as good a racket as any other these days. That's what I thought, but I've stopped thinking it. You've never seen me this way before, have you, baby? What way? Stone cold sober. Just because you and Nancy had a bit of a flare-up? It's not that. I'm pulling out of this business. You can't do that now. Why not? You know too much. You're darn right I know too much. Don't be a fool, Clem. I've always been a fool. I may be a crook, but not that sort of crook. No. What are you going to do about tonight? I'll get through with the job because I said I would. After that, they can kiss you and me goodbye. Fair enough. Unless it'll break your heart to tear yourself away from Nasi. Don't be silly. Just so we understand each other. That's all, baby. Don't do anything hasty, will you, Clem?
What's your opinion of clams, Harvey? Oh, he ain't doing too bad for an amateur. Bit stuck up about one or two things, but he'll get over it. No, he's got a nasty nature, Clem has. Turn on you as soon as look at you. Jealous, too, I'll be bound. I never did like jealousy. <laughs> Very neurotic type, Clem is. You ain't got your eye on his girl, have you? Who, me? What a nasty mind you have sometimes, Soapy. I got my own girl, ain't I? Sally's good enough for me, I should hope. No, it's just that I don't like amateurs. I gave the watchman one for his knob. Clem's getting the stuff ready inside. That's the landing. OK, shove off then. See you back at the shop. Good luck. What'd you send him home for? Oh, I got me reasons. You in good shape tonight, sir, B? I hope so. You Why? and me may have to do a bit of quick sprinting. Draw by the landing. What's up, Narcy? Oh, nothing. Just that I got a presentiment. You know me, a deep type. Could have made a fortune reading teacups. Check up on this burn. Who is it? 6-1 Archer, sir. Is he badly hurt? He's had it, sir. A family? No. You sure? Yes. That's odd. Your sister's here to see you. Sister? Tell her to help it. You better tell her yourself. You've got 15 minutes. Come on, Morgan. Miss Morgan? You might have thought 
of all that. Well, I can't be expected to think of everything. Frankly, your lawyer says you've got off light. Well, get me another lawyer then. Yeah, yeah. Lawyer, now. How have you been getting along since they came? Make a son of mine. Hello, Clem. Who the hell are you? Nancy's girlfriend, Sally Connor. Then you know what you can do. I bet you say that to all the girls. What do you want here? Oh, I was just passing by. Thought I'd drop in. Has your girlfriend been to see you since you moved in here? No. Who wants to know? I do. She hasn't, has she? You don't have to try and save face. I know darn well she hasn't. Anyone who think you are minding your own business? Well, that's true. I am minding my own business. I wouldn't be keeping you from a Turkish bath. Believe you me. What's Ellen got to do with you? Only that she and Nasi are waltzing in a dream. What makes you think I give a damn? Look, Clem, I don't know you from Adam. I never met you before. If your girlfriend had kept her finger out of my pie, I wouldn't need to know you now. I'm a chorus girl. I know how to take care of myself, which is more than you did. You'll have to take my word for it that I'm on the level. I bet you are, like Nasi was. Don't be stupid all your life. I know you were framed. Cora told me. I didn't notice her giving any evidence at my trial. Soapy sent his regards, by oh, the way. He's not looking so well these days. Something he ate? I thought you might like to know his conscience is troubling him. What's the game? What do you want? I might be able to persuade Soapy to turn King's evidence. He hasn't got the guts of a flea. He'd do it. And why should you take such a deep personal interest in my welfare? I wanted to see the kind of chap Nasty double-crossed before I decided which way to jump. I'd like to help you. I believe you. Thousands wouldn't. If I wasn't on the level, what do you think I'm doing here? You came down here in a bad fit of jealousy to make as much trouble as you knew how. You'd be the first to yowl your head off if anything happened to your precious Nasi. I'm through with Nasi. Listen, Mata Hari, I'll square up with Nasi in my own time. Tell him that the next time he wants to send anyone snooping around here to pick someone who can do it better. Go on, go home. Well, that's the way you feel about it. You better ring for your butler and have me shown out. That would be the first time you weren't thrown out. Bye. Goodbye. Time's up. Cora, she's looking for you. Oh, okay, Charlie, thanks. Cora's got a nurse coming back here after the inspired of Maria. I asked her to. Hello, Cora. Hello, Sally. What did you want to talk to me about? Something private. I want your help. I may need quite a lot of it. But you were the only one who was kind to me when they fired me from here. I'll never forget you for that, ever. I went to see Claire Morgan on Sunday. What for? I wanted to see the kind of man Nasi framed. I want you to help me get him out. No. Yes, you and Soapy. If Soapy turned King's evidence, there's nothing they could do about it. What are you talking about, Sally? Nasty watches him every minute. Ever since the trial, he'd kill him. You don't know Nasty. You never did. You don't have to tell me about Nasty. I want you to bring Soapy around to my flat one night this week. He wouldn't come. He would for you. I can't. I can't ask him to do a thing like that, Sally, not even for you. It isn't fair to ask me. All right. Where do I find him? He comes down to Joe's sometimes when I'm singing there. But he can't help you. I can tell you that now. I still prefer to ask him for myself. But Nasty. Nasty? I'm not frightened of Nasty like you and Sophie are. He wouldn't dare try anything on me. No, wouldn't he? For Pete's sake, leave a whole lot of them alone, Sally. You don't know when you're well off. Good night, Sally. Good night.
Next time you cut in on my top load, I'll bite your nose off right in front of all those people out there. All right, all right. Take it up with Sam. He's waving the stick, not me. I just come in when he gives me the cue. Why, hello, Nazi. Hello, Olga. Sally's still here. I suppose so. Had a change of heart? Maybe. Neither can I. Sally's still in there? Well, this isn't Superman. Whip it quick to you. Where were you on Sunday? What do you care? Did you go to see Clem Morgan? Where's he playing this week? What did you tell him? I don't know what you're talking about. You told him I was going with his girl, didn't you? You don't mean that great, big, beautiful doll whose mother was frightened by a duck. Take your hands off me! I've got to teach you to keep your talk to yourself, Sally. It's going to hurt me more than it does you, but it's for your own good, see? You try and knock me about here and they'll send for the police. Let them! What was the perfect little gentleman? That was just to get me hand in. Beat me up before. I warned you about getting in too deep. You never did understand, Nasty. He's bad. He's really bad. Bath's running. Can you make coffee, Bill? Like a dream. Well, it's in a tin marked curry powder on the top shelf. Make it strong. And shut the door. You will stay clear of Nasty from now on, won't you, Sally? He's not even a respectable crook. He's just cheap, rotten after the war trash. Will you use that, Nighty? Or shall I get you a new one? There's one in the drawer, the top drawer. Don't be such a fool, Cora. We all make a mistake or two. We wouldn't be human if we didn't. But promise me you'll steer clear of that gang from now on. Kim Morgan included. You're not really tough. Not tough enough to take care of yourself at a pinch like I am. You're not really tough at all. You just tried to be, just because you thought it was the smart thing to do. Will you promise me? I never want to see any of them again as long as I live. That's the ticket. Here we are, some nice strong coffee and a sort of sandwich made by Bill. I think he should take first bite in case it chokes him. Good for you. Come on. Try and drink a little, even if you don't really want it. My men, he's heading your way. George Clement Morgan, repeat, George Clement Morgan. 
age 27, height 5 foot 10 and a half. The most available men are doctor, but I still need all the police you can spare. Height 5 foot 10 and a half, brown hair, gray eyes, repeat, brown hair, gray eyes, serving 15 years for manslaughter. Ward's glass of work. George Clement Morgan, repeat, George Clement Morgan. We got those blood on the job. Age 27, height 5 foot 10 and a half. Repeat, age 27. considered possible that the escaped man, though still at large, is suffering from severe wounds. It is now 24 hours since Morgan escaped from a road party working near the prison. Police cordons have been combing the neighboring country and detailed warnings are being circulated among the more outlying districts. Morgan, a black marketeer, was serving Your a 15 turn. years term for manslaughter. Getting himself shot. I always said he was a bad amateur. Where is he? Asleep, I think. Do you know who I am? Yes. Are you afraid of me? No. I want clothes. You're wounded, aren't you? No, I'm not. But they said on the wireless... Never that... mind what they said. I can let you have some clothes. You want some food, too, won't you? I wouldn't turn up my nose at it. I think there's enough hot water for a bath. You need that most of all, I should think. I prefer not to be arrested in the altogether, if it's all the same to you. Nobody will arrest you while you are in this house. I give you my word. Why? Have you fallen in love with my beautiful wavy hair? No. You can do me a service in return for helping you. Me, do you a service. If you come with me, I'll show you the bathroom. You can use my husband's shaving things. Sure he won't mind? No, he won't mind. It's this way. Do you mind if I go first? It's your privilege. Through that door. You can put those things outside for me to burn. I'll leave you some fresh clothes on that chair. And then make a dash for the telephone. We haven't got a telephone. You'll find a fresh towel on the rack in there.
It's a very good fit, considering. You don't hear me complaining, do you? I'll make you up a parcel of food to take with you when you go. I hope this is enough, meanwhile. It's all right, it's only my husband. Sorry, my dear, I know you had company. Just forget you saw me. Just forget. Is he always like that? Yes, he's always like that. Bad luck. What were you in prison for? Something I didn't do. You killed someone, didn't you? The law says I did. You were a gangster. Madam, the only reason I'm a fat-headed damn fool and not a hero is because I went on doing what the country put me in a uniform to do after they'd taken it back. What were you in? The Wrath. Did you see much action? I was a POW in Germany for two years. I escaped. When you escaped, did you have to kill anybody? Too right I did, but I didn't kill that copper. Who did? What do you care? I do care. A black marketeer called Nasi killed him, as far as I can remember. Nasi? Short for Narcissus. But you did kill a man when you escaped from Germany. Mm -hmm. How did you kill him? With a beer bottle. A beer bottle? It's all right. It was empty. Can you use a gun? Maybe. Pick up that handkerchief. Would that be of any use to you? It'll keep off the mosquitoes. You can have it, on one condition. What's that? I want you to shoot my husband. You're around the bend. I'm in deadly earnest. Well, if he bothers you so much, why don't you shoot him yourself? Because they'd hang me. <laughs> you want jam on it, don't you? One more murder can't make much difference to you. You're a hunted man anyway. We're quibbling on a technical point. What? I'm not a murderer. Then you won't do it. What do you take me for? Thanks for the clothes, the food and the shampoo. I'll do the same for you sometime. You coward! You coward! You want to get rid of one or two of those motherly ideas of yours. Or they'll land you in the kind of soup I'm in. Thanks again and good night. Fenshaw has been removed to a hospital in a state of nervous collapse. She was able, however, to give a complete description of the clothes stolen by Morgan after the murder of her husband. He is wearing a check tweed coat, grey trousers, cream shirt, striped tie, a belted raincoat. Bad company you used to keep hat. before you met me, I. This is the fifth day that Morgan has been at large. The police in the Exeter area have been warned that he might be making his way in that direction. What do we do if he gets to London? Gets to London, who? Oh. Clem? Ha! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. What you been doing, listening to Soapy? Clem will get about as far as I could throw a dead elephant with one arm tied behind me back. 
I knew he'd get out. I knew we hadn't seen the last of him. I told you he'd get out somehow. Well, that's no skin off your nose. Oh, ain't it? It's me he's after, all right. Don't you fret about that. It's me he's after. He thinks it's me what framed him. I only done what Nasty told me to do. Nasty told me to whip that copper. Oh, shut your gob. He never knows listening in this flea circus. Nasty slugged him over the head, not me. I was only sitting behind the wheel. I couldn't do anything else, could I? Nasty would have slugged me, too. Cripes, can't you keep your ruddy voice down? Why don't you shove your head out of the window and yell it out all over the street and have done with it? But he's after me, Cora. But he hasn't got you yet, has he? No. But he will get me. Well, if you're so scared, Whitless, why don't you go to Nasty and get him to hide you? Nasty? Nasty don't want me about now that Clem's out on the loose. I'm the only witness that Clem didn't smack that copper. I'll tell you, they want to kill me, Cora. Both of them. That's what it is. They want to kill me. Kill me. They won't dare. Oh, yes, they will. I ain't got a dog's chance. Yes, you have. I won't let them find you. Don't worry, Soapy. They won't get you as long as I'm looking after you. You're going to disappear for a while. That's what you're going to do. Don't worry. We'll fool them. Don't worry. I feel distress awaken me Taken by surprise As you have taken me I never knew The touch of your kiss Ever could thrill me As deeply As this Will they hang him? Will they not? Can I have a look at that paper, please? This is a moment we may not recapture. Come on, you'll be late to your own We are enchanted. The magic of the moment holds us. We are enchanted. The mystery of love enfolds us. What if tomorrow brings nothing but sorrow? Who cares? I love you. You'll be fine. Hope you get them. You a hawker? No. Good. They give me a pain in the arm. Pinch more damn spanners. Where are you making for? Manchester. You're a long way from home, aren't you? I was on holiday. You've been traveling light, don't you? Had my room burgled. Lost the whole shooting match. People have got terrible dishonest since the war. I don't know what the country's coming to. I'll be driving all night. Fine. I don't mind. I'll get me beauty sleep in the daytime. Want to buy some petrol coupons? Sorry, I'm broke. Don't sell them in the ordinary way, you understand? 
Lots of people are crooked these days, but I have no taste for crime. What part of Manchester are you from? Do you know Manchester? Oh, I've been there once or twice. I come from Bank Street. Oh, I had a chum the name of Freddy Wilmot. Uh, do you know him? He comes from Manchester. It's quite a place, you know. Did you hear about that convict that got loose? Yeah. Makes you think, don't it? Yeah. He's killed a bloke since he got out. Who said? Chap were telling me at the depot. Wouldn't half be a laugh if it turned out to be you, wouldn't it? <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. How would you feel if it turned out to be me? You never know who's up to what these days. They used to call it St. Luke Street, didn't they? What? Bank Street. Oh, I thought you didn't know Manchester. No, but I go there in my dreams. What are you getting at? I hear this convict got a load of bookshot in his back. Too bad. Your identity card wasn't stolen when you lost your kit, was it? Why? The coppers are liable to stop us at any time and ask for identification. My identification is OK. How's yours? Never better. Nothing to worry about, is there? Not a thing in the cockeyed world. Kind of uncomfortable, these darn things, aren't they? Yeah, they're all right. Why don't you lean back and take it easy? We've got a long way to go. <laughs> Did you say something? No. Nah. My mistake. Maybe you'd better lean forward. Why? Give your back a rest. Are you trying to make out I'm that convict? Are you trying to make out you ain't? I see your log sheet, your driving license, and your identity card, please. I do. Thank you. Anyway. That spaghetti can stand one more warm-up before we pension it off. No, I wanted to go home. Thanks all the same. I've got a headache. Okay, you pop along home and get a good night's sleep. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night, honey. Good night, Sally. Sweet dreams. Same to you.
broke through police cordons by overpowering a lorry driver and stealing his lorry and identification papers. The lorry driver was discovered by police, tied and gagged, in a ward near Exeter. He is reported to be only superficially hurt and is suffering from shock. Go away. Get out of here. Where's Sophie hiding? How should I know? I don't run around with your crowd anymore. I don't want anything to do with any of you. Get out of here. Quick! Get away from that door. I'll call for help. You try. I don't think about Sophie or Nasty. I don't have anything to do with them anymore. When did you see Nasty last? The day after I came to see you. What did he say? He beat me up. Too bad. I can't help you. Will you please get out of here? This is the first place Nasty will look. Suits me fine. I never wanted to get mixed up with people like you. I didn't know what I was letting myself in for. Will you please get out of here and leave me alone? Where's Sophie? I don't know. Where's Sophie? I don't know. I swear I don't. Where's his girlfriend, Cora? I don't know. Right for your age, aren't you? I thought you were the girl who could look after herself. I can. I believe you. Thousands wouldn't. What do you want to escape for? You know they'll catch you. Too bad if you've got cold feet all of a sudden. You should have thought of that before you came to the jail and started something you couldn't finish. I didn't think you'd be fool enough to do it. No. Well, now you're learning something about human nature. When a bloke gets put away for 15 years, he doesn't curl up with a good book. He gets bitter. He gets a pain in his guts. He wants to lay his hands on the double-crossing swine who put him in. Next time you want to play with fire, use a matchbox instead. This time you're going to finish what you started. Or we're both going down together. You can't drag me into it. I won't. I won't be dragged into it. You're a murderer. You kill people. Not since they put him out of season. You killed that man in the house you broke into. I never killed anybody. This old woman tried to talk me into it and then did it herself after I'd gone. For the last time, are you going to get out of here? I don't care what you do to me. I'll scream till somebody comes. Blimey, O'Reilly, you kick up more fuss than a drunk pack meal. I'm hungry. I've got a back full of lead shot. The whole damn world and his dog are after my skin. The least you can do is offer me a drink and a cigarette. If I give you one, will you go? Yitta yama, yitta yama. Stop haggling and get me a drink. under the door, will you? My hands are all soapy. I'm over the plumber to look at your sink first thing next week. Couldn't get him any sooner. Thank you, Mrs. Perry. Why didn't you yell for help? Afraid I'd kill you? No. I didn't kill that bloke, you know. Doesn't make much odds anyway, does it? The only man I ever killed was a sentry with swastikas up to his eyebrows. Happy New Year. What are you going to do about that lead shot in your back? Set it for what it'll fetch. It'll poison you, won't it? Not soon enough to suit you. You better let me see what I can do about it. Do you mean add a few more? If they're not too deep in, I could try and get them out. What with? A ferret? But if they're like splinters, I could get them out with eyebrow tweezers. Had much practice lately? Has anyone ever told you you have a very funny sense of humor? No. Good. I think I have some iodine. At that moment, her husband comes in. Uh, uh, here comes Chatterbox. Now, to be all over town. How do you want me? Served up with a lemon in your mouth. What was that man's wife like? 
Which man? One you said you didn't kill. Oh, her. Mad as a hatter. Was she young? I forgot to cloud her teeth. I thought you didn't fall for that story. You said I did. How'd they look? Not so good. So tight. All right. Yep. That's a lot. No. What's up? I don't feel so good. Squeamish, eh? Better take a shot of your whiskey. I'm all right. Sophie. I can't find him. What the blazes have you been up to all this time, then? Well, he must have got out of London. Don't give me that bilge. He ain't got the guts to go out of London. Where's Cora? Oh, she's lying low, too. You tried all the dump she hangs out of. Well, she's not likely to be lolling around in a pub waiting for us to go and pick her up. Why not? She's got to eat, ain't she? She's got to pay the rent if she's hiding Soapy. She'll be out singing somewhere if you're smart enough to keep your eyes skinned. I can't be in half a dozen places at once. There's nothing like having a damn good try. Get out of here and don't come back till you find them. Savvy? Take Shawnee with you. And I ain't gonna be too choosy about whether soap is still warm or cold, if you follow me. Just so long as we find him before Clem does. Get cracking! Both of you. Okay. Give me your dusters, Eddie. Max? Who's that for? It ain't safe for Sally to be alone in that flat with an escaped convict around. My coat. Jim, you're coming with me. Just for the ride. Sure. Watch out you don't overdo it, Nasi. The cops will be out like hornets round the jam jar. I ain't gonna lay a finger on her, nor on Clem either, if it so happens I come across him. Jim wasn't a ballet dancer for nothing. You find them, we bury them. Ace of spades, ace of spades, where's that one? Ace of spades. Well, that's the lot. Hey. You can't go to sleep here. Clem. Poor chump. Please wake up. You can't go to sleep here. going to go now? It'd break your heart to lose me, wouldn't it? I'm sorry, I don't know where Sophie is. Cora would know. I think she's trying every pub in the Mile End Road. They'll recognize you, won't they? Oh, in the hat back to front. I would have helped you if I could. 
got a lot in common, my pocket. We both tried to play with dynamite. We both rank amateurs. I'll leave you a piece of the rope in my will. You wear it in your locket. Remember me by. Have you any money? No. I can let you have ten bob. I'm not proud. Thanks. I'm sorry I haven't a gun. What indeed, why? I think you will. There's more than one way of killing a pig. When I first saw you, I sized you up as a flutter-brained cluck. You've turned out different. I wish I'd met you while I was still at Sunday school. Maybe I'd have turned out different, too. Well, this is no time to cry over spilled milk. I must beat it. You're a fool to go out looking for Soapy. Why don't you lie low till you get your bearings? Is that a bohemian suggestion? No, I just don't like seeing a fellow walk straight into the barrel of a shotgun. You say the prettiest things. So long, Sister Sally. Thank Mother for the bed socks. Is full of cops. I have to go out of the front door like a gentleman. They'll be out there too, won't they? Complete with brass band and address of welcome. Wait. They know there's clothes by now. I know they do, so what? There's a, there's a man's overcoat in the cupboard. A man's? Last you left it here once. It's no time to be choosy. Eh? Don't forget to wipe your boots. Narcissus in person. Well, well, if it isn't Inspector Rockcliffe. What frolic whim brings you to these happy portals? Must be animal magnetism. What are you doing here? Waiting for a taxi? No, I come every year to take the waters. I see you brought Frankenstein with him. Yeah, he's working his way through college. Sally at home? I don't know. I was too shy to knock. Like me to do it for you? It might be more fitting coming from you. Not a creature was stirring. Not even a mouse. Sure you don't mean rat? Not unless you smell one. I've got a cold. I can't even smell you. Guess I'll call back later. I say, how's the undertaking business these days? Booming. I wish I could interest you in one of our new models. Utility? From you, we wouldn't ask dockets. I'll bear it in mind. And don't forget to tell your friends. Since when did a detective have friends? Ask a silly question and you'll get a silly answer. So long, Rocky. Master Manana, how's Soapy, by the way? He's never looked back since he joined the Oxford group. Remember me to him, if you run across him. I'll be glad to. Remember me to Morgan, will you? If I see him first. Miss Sally Connor? Yes? Good evening. I'm Detective Inspector Rockcliffe. You want to see me? If I may. Won't you come in? Thank you. Where is he? He left about half an hour ago. No 
he didn't. Which way did he go? Through the kitchen window. Walters! Hello, sir. Anyone been through? No, sir. I've been here all the time. Never move, sir. All right. Is he still here? No. You're quite a girl, aren't you? You better come along with me. Have you a warrant? I'm not arresting you. I'm trying to stop Nasty from slitting that pretty little throat of yours from ear to ear. You've stuck it out just a couple of inches too far. Hello. Found your matches yet? No, but I'm lonely. Who ain't? Where do you live? Just round the corner. Like to ask me up for a cup of tea? You bring your own sugar? Yes, sweet enough as it is. Oh, you won't be feel 21 again. Of course, I love you, sweetheart. Hilda Thompson. That's a mental thing to me. What's the matter with you? I don't know. You must have gone to my head. <laughs> Affectionate, aren't you? <clears throat> I had a Spanish mother. Hey, Nasty. The dirty son of a... Urgent message from Lambeth Station, sir. They picked up a man answering Morgan's description. They wanted to go there and identify him right away. Alice, you'll have to take Miss Connor to the station. Ask the station officer to look after her, I understand? Yes, sir. Tell the yard to send another car to pick him up. Get out of me, Cora. Oh, Tiny, just once more. I swear I'll never ask you again. I'll pay it all back. I just got to have my room ready. They chuck me out. How much? Thirty bob. Run away. Take it up with Nasty later. Hey, you didn't see nothing. Not in my pub, you didn't. Couldn't agree more. It's true. Where's Cora? Ain't they nudgy yet? Where's Cora? Never comes here no more. Well, I find her. Try uh, cockeyed cock-eyed I have. She's not there. Well, I, I don't know where she'd be then. Uh, perhaps Fidgety Phil might know. He was here just now. Where'd he go? I reckon you'll find him at Tiny's. Thanks. Anything, Sergeant? Have you traced the car? Anything, sir? No, sir. Anything happened at the Valhalla? No, sir. We kept the place watched all night, but it's deserted. Is that so, Murray? Yes, sir. Nobody been near it. What are you doing here, Fidgety Phil? I brought him along in case you'd want to question him, sir. He says Nasty's cleared of the Valhalla and moved to a new hideout. Where? It'll take a couple of days to find out, sir. You no idea where it might be? No, sir. None of the boys know yet. But he has cleared out of the Valhalla. Oh, yes, sir. Nasty twigged that you twigged about the Valhalla. So he won't use it anymore. Where's Soapy? Don't know. He's been hiding from Nasty for quite a while. Ever since he heard Morgan was out? Yeah. Would Morgan know Nasty's new hideout? Couldn't say. It isn't likely. Do you know that Morgan's been combing the pubs trying to find Cora? Has he? Don't think he'll find her. Why? Nancy's boys picked her up at Tiny's tonight. When? 
quarter of an hour ago. Nasty frame, Morgan, didn't he? So they say. And soap is the only witness. There's a rumor to that effect. But it'd be indelicate of me to discuss it further. OK, Phil. Here's a little present for you, sir. You think we can get a warrant issued to search the Valhalla anyway, sir? How the heck can I get a warrant at this time of night? We're shutting the stable door after the horses hopped it. So, you ain't set eyes on Soapy for a week? No, I haven't. And that's the gospel truth, Nazi. I swear it. Nobody's calling you a liar, are they? Nobody be so unchivalrous. He came to see me about a week ago. He said that, that he was thinking of signing on as a steward on one of those, those Union Castle boats. He always was a one for the sea. I guess that's what's made him wet, the army. Jim. Yeah? Let's have a look at that belt you was telling us about. Glad to. <laughs> Jim's been telling me about this here belt of his. Quite a card he is. Life of every party in Lambeth. What do you call it, Jim? My coaxer. Jim's coaxer. It's like postman's noxy. We ask a question, and you've got to guess the answer. Of course, we only ask simple questions, don't we, Jim? It wouldn't be fair otherwise. Nobody'd win a prize. a week ago. I'd tell you if I had. Don't. Don't beat me up. I can't stand it, Nancy. I can't stand it. Please don't beat me up. Leave her alone, Nancy. <laughs> Sally, tell him I don't know where Sophie is. Of course she doesn't know where he is. He wouldn't be fool enough to tell her, knowing you. Oh, Sally, please don't let him beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Where's Sophie? <laughs> okay, Jim, let her have it. Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Bring him up! <laughs> I'm a vagabond, a vagabond I'm always willing to be. I hold the title and stick to it with pride. Come out after the chat looking for yes, Fidgety Phil. From the beautiful countryside, I Who are you? There's Fidgety Phil here. Who wants to know? I do. I'm trying to find Cora. Phil don't come here no more. Pop it. I want to see Cora. Where is she? Take it up with Nasi. Looking for someone, Morgan? My name ain't Morgan. Let's take a little walk, shall we? And don't try to get rough. I learned just as many parlor tricks during the war as you did, you know. Money, get the nearest phone. Report will be picked up Morgan and tell him to send a car right away. Yes, sir. S.Y. to all cars. Cancel message number 43. 
More than arrested. Repeat, more than arrested. Units detailed to search for Morgan can return to normal duties. Repeat, units detailed to search for Morgan can return to normal duties. Cancel message number 43. Morgan arrested. Good old Scotland Yard. They always get their man, the wrong one. Hey, Narcy, I can get that last truckload of junk out of the Valhalla to Lambeth. Now they've called in the police cars. No, it's too risky. It's no riskier than leaving it in the Valhalla. The cops will find it any time now. It's the last load, whiskey. Hey, whiskey. And once that's out of the way, our noses are clean. Theoretically speaking. Is Limpy expecting you in Lambeth? I told him I'd be leaving the Valhalla at two o'clock sharp. Okay, go ahead. Keep a couple of bottles for me. You know, I hear you're getting down right dishonest. It's the company I keep. You can tell a girl what booze is by the company she chooses. And the pig got up and slowly walked away. <laughs> oh, make us up. You weren't too bright coming to London. You might have known Nancy would have a new bolt by this time. Where is it? If I knew I'd have him right beside you by now. How did you kind of get mixed up with cheap scum like Nancy? You've had a fine war record. Sir, yeah, thanks for the compliment. I mean, give me a close check on your friend, Mrs. Fenshaw. Some of her testimony seems a little too slick to be true. You astound me, Holmes. I just thought you might be interested. Do you know the two of Narcy's boys picked up Cora tonight? She'll tip them off as to where Soapy's hiding. My guess is that by now, Soapy's had it. Put off for the boys in blue. It's gonna take us a day or two to find Narcy's new hideout. Why hurry all that much? Take your time. There's only one way we could find it sooner. A Ouija board? By using you as bait. The best that can be for it is it'll save the government the price of a rope. So we get what they charge for ropes these days. Yes, what I want is two ropes for the price of one. Go on, run for it. <laughs>
I wish some of you boys had wiped the jam off your fingers before you handle these cards. When he bought this pack yesterday and he could use them for flying paper. Oh, I could lay his slap cabin. Oh, getting a bit finicky in your old age. Well, I haven't stooped to blow him a nose on my shirt tails, mentioning no names, but watch where my eyes rest. <laughs> <laughs> Who dealt this book? I did. And you dealt twice running? He didn't. You dealt. How do you know? You were too busy making thumbnail marks on the ace of spades. Trying to make out I ain't honest. You? Why, you'd sell your own mother to an horse meat butcher. Jim, hmm? where's our wandering boy tonight? He's gone for a swim. He always was the athletic type, Sophie was. Come on in, he says to me. The water's fine. What, me, I says? With my bronchitis? I'd catch me death. <laughs> what have I done? Sophie. I've killed him. I've killed him. It's me. I've killed him. Ah! Why don't you kill me, too? I've nothing to live for now. Kill me. Shut your trap. There's a draft. What are you going to do with her? Nothing. She can't do us no harm. Only goes squealing to the first cop she sees. Oh, believe her. This why to all cars. Morgan broke arrest. Repeat. Morgan broke arrest. Last seen heading towards West End. Repeat. Last seen heading towards West End. All cars in Limehouse area to withdraw and concentrate on roads to West End. He's left it a bit late if it was soapy he wanted. Pardon. That'll put the cops on the track again. Who cares? Curly will be on his way to Lambeth any minute now. He walked right into him. What's the time now? Quarter to two. No, you're fast. It's twenty-two. We've got plenty of time to stop him. Got a gun, Jim? No, I'll use my toothpick. Got a gun, Bert? You know I don't use a gun. It'd ruin my reputation. What are you using guns for? The police ain't going to be the only ones we'll run into if we stick our noses out of here. Morgan will be heading for the Valhalla looking for me. Got a gun, Eddie? No, thanks. What do you mean, no thanks? I never did a job with a gun, and I don't intend to start now. Don't be so reactionary. This is the century of the common man. Take it. No. Take it, or I'll shove it down your throat. I'll take it. But it don't mean I have to use it. You'll use it. Max, my coat. This is the last time Morgan runs his fingers through my permanent wave. Here, you... You'd better come along, too. Why? I've got a feeling we're going to run into your dream boy. And there's nothing I like better than playing Cupid. Sentimental type. The lover's friend. Leave her behind with me. Shut up! Even in our line of business, there's such a thing as overdoing it. And you've overdone it, Nasi. It'll come home to roost. I've never been so deadly serious in my life. It'll come home to roost. I'm just warning you, that's all. I'll go ahead, if you want to. You're breaking my heart. Après, boo. What have I do? Stay put.
this dump gives me the orders. That you, Eddie? It's me, Nasi. Anything been happening round here? No, silent as the grave. No one trying to get in? No. Nope. That jaw right of yours is off. The cops are out looking for Morgan. Suits me. Are you any good at dirty fighting? Oh, I've done a bit in my time. Take her in the office. If she tries to get funny, bash her face in. You're right. He won't be balmy enough to come here. That kind of balmy he would be. Well, we want to finish him right ourselves. Why? Well, makes a nice kind of rat trap. We'll come out with no teeth missing. Last Jim? Yeah? Climb into that chocolate box. Who? Me? You heard. Blimey. What you doing? Uh, trying to emphasize? Ah! Can you breathe? I guess so. How long have I got to stop in here? Till Morgan makes his farewell appearance. Bert? Yeah? You off in that one? I see. Like an Arabian Nights pantomime. I might tell him to leave me a paper and a bottle of milk in the morning. You've been listening to the third program. Any sign of Morgan? What's the hurry? Got to catch a train? All set. All we need to do on that, we're welcome on it. I don't want no twittering out of you when your little playmate arrives, see? Or Curly will have to conk you on on your pretty coconut. Just you keep your trap shut. Open that door. Morgan! 
If you're carrying a gun, take a good look at what you shoot. You better come out and talk things over, Morgan. That's not the way I play. Grab his gun! Him, Curly, he's got Bert's gun.
Are you all right? Yes. Where's Morgan? On the roof. They're fighting on the roof, quick. Get him down. Where are the rest? In there. Come on. What have you been playing at? Kiss in the ring? Okay, scrape him up. Inspector, it's Nasi, and he's dying. Right. Detective Sergeant Murray says it's Nasi, all right, sir, and he's dying. I'm coming. You're almost too thorough, Morgan. Nice work, just the same. All right. Nasi's dying. If there's anything you want to say to him, you better make it snappy. Mm. Have to call the ambulance. Be here in a minute. Sorry, Nasi. Oh. You and your ruddy milk bottle. Nasi, I didn't kill that copper, did I? Nasi, it was soapy, wasn't it? Was it soapy? Never heard of it. What do you mean? Sam killed that copper. Those are my dying words. Nasi, please. Please tell them the truth. It wasn't Clem. Tell them it wasn't Clem. Nasi, I beg of you. You do, do you? Oh, that's different. In that case, I hope you both where the rest of the gang are hiding, sir. All right, shove him in that car. Jim, tell him Sophie killed that policeman. He knows. That's why Sophie was going to turn King's evidence. Jim, tell him. You won't get much change out of him. See you at the mortuary, sir. I'm there as soon as I can. But, but you're different from the others. You said you didn't like cheap cops. You know Sophie did it. Tell them. Tell them! <laughs> Fat chance they'd believe me. All right, Miss Connor. We'll get all the facts before we're through. Come on, Morgan. Okay. Thanks for trying. Thanks for everything. He hasn't killed anyone. You can't lock him up again. He hasn't killed anyone. You're wasting your time. You must forget about me, Sally. Easier than you think. I won't forget you. Let's not get soppy. By the way, here's your ten bob. Sorry I didn't have time to autograph it for you. So long. I'll wait for you. That's what I was afraid of. You get any fresh evidence, we'll know submit your case to the Home Secretary, you know. How many forms will you have to fill up? Or can't you tell me? Millions. 